your desk. It's just easier to write on your desk uh, and it gives you more space. If you do not have an extra marker, you can just use note paper and a pencil and then when Mr. Reese gets back in here, you can ask for an extra marker because I'm sure he has some somewhere. Okay, so today let's first read our question together and then I'm going to tell you a little bit how we're going to set up our accordion style paragraph because I think I want to do it a little bit different today, okay? A little bit different. All right, um, so you ready to read together? Let's go. There are several steps that are, ooh, let's stop. Let's do that. Everyone reading with me. There are several steps that are to be taken in order to make the toy space shuttle work properly. Write a paragraph describing these steps in order. Okay, so what is our job? To write the steps in order. We're writing the steps in order. So we're sequencing events, right? Are we going to start with the very bottom thing? The very last thing that we do? Where are we going to start? In the middle? No. Where are we going to start? The very first thing that we do. What do we need in order to um, do this properly? Our reading, book. our reading book. So let's go ahead and get our reading book out. Turn to page Everybody does. We do it, and then we'll wipe it off. All right. What I want us to uh, write down, normally we do our accordion style paragraph with three lines in the middle, and we do key star ideas. I kind of want, we're going to combine key star idea and elaboration today. Okay? Make it a little bit different. So, um, what I think we can do, because I'm thinking of three major things that we do with the Toy Space Shuttle to make it work, right? There are three main things. And so what I thought we could do is, of course, start with our topic sentence, okay, like always. And then let's sequence first, next them, or first, then last, however, whatever transition words, and then we'll do a concluding paragraph. So, perfect. So, make it look like this, and for this time, we're going to X out our key star ideas because we're going to write them in the middle. So, do we need them? Well, I mean, you can just draw them short like yeah, that's that. What, that's what you can draw them short. Now, you know how Ms. Henderson feels about the accordion style paragraph, especially this graphic organizer, because it makes you look at a paragraph one sentence at a time. You know, I think us as fifth graders and um, learners, we get a little bit overwhelmed when we see, ooh, we've got to write a paragraph that's making me kind of nervous. I don't know how to do it. I don't know where to start. But when we take it one sentence at a time, it kind of breaks it down for us. Uh, and I think that it, it really has improved your writing. So um, what I want us to do is first really focus on the topic sentence. And today I'm going to let you kind of guide it. Okay. I'm not going to write until you have something written down on your desk. So I can see who's understanding um, and maybe who needs some redirection. And that's totally fine. We want to make sure that our writing is improving each week. It should be getting better each week. We should look at an open-ended question and understand, okay, this is what I've got to do first. This is what I've got to do second. Okay? And so um, what we're going to do is first I'm going to kind of get you started with the topic sentence. We're going to talk about it, and then everyone's going to write, and then you guys will help me write mine up here based on what you wrote. Okay. Is everybody with me? Everybody has their stuff set up. We're good to go. Right? Yes, maybe so. Okay. Um, what are we writing about today? Uh, several steps. We're, we're writing the steps properly to push that shuttle forward for us. Right. So we don't just get it and all of a sudden it magically works. We've got to do some stuff with it. 
Right. Right. Absolutely. So Jackson just named a few things that we had to do. What we have to start with, though, can we just start saying, first, you got to? No. No, we cannot start like that. What do we need to do for our reader to understand what in the universe we're talking about? Um, there are so many things that are toy special in the Okay, so what is that called? What did you just do? A topic sentence. So I want you, everybody, right now, to write down your topic sentence. Jackson and Ethan just said a few examples of what you could do. I want you to open up your paragraph right now. Ready, set, go. I'm seeing some great sentences. What do we need to write? Yeah, that's great. You can end it with here or some. You can simply just say there are several steps to make the toy space shuttle work. Either one of those is just fine. I'm going to just say, um, keep it simple. There are several ways to make Toy space shuttle work. Okay. Y'all feel good about yours? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, um, <clears throat> for you to have it work properly, I need you to look in your book and I need you to tell me some things. So, let's kind of talk about it out loud and then you can write it on your own after we've spoken about it so kind of look in your story and decide what do we have to do do we just get it and all of a sudden poof, it flies up into space no, no. Mm -mm. okay so we're on page 348 and 349 for those of you that are not there yet okay so tell me some things that we need to do and some things we can combine together 
Okay, some things we can combine together. All right, so tell me. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is log in. Okay, why don't we combine those? Why don't we say, put on your headphones and um, key in your password. Now, when we're sequencing events, we learned this yesterday about those clue words. Remember, it kind of helps us understand um, and give our reader um, a clue as to the order of events. So, what is a transition word or a clue word that we could use to let our readers know, hey, we are sequencing things right now. We're putting them in order. What can we start with? There you go. Write it. And after I see what you guys have written, you are gonna help me up here. I like it, I'm seeing that first comma. That makes me excited. We know we section off our transition word by comma. First, comma, blah, blah, blah. I'm seeing just about everybody with me. So we're going to start with first. Um, comma. There you go. I like it. Comma. What are we do? Okay. So now we are logged into the Mission Control Center, right? Tell me some things that we can do. Okay, we definitely could start with second or then or now, either any of those. But but tell me what we can do now. What can we do now that we are logged into the Mission Control Center? Okay. Okay, so now that you're logged in, you can see everything. Uh, okay, let's get there in a minute. Let's get there in a minute. Okay, so um, let's start with you can see and hear everything in um, in space. You can see what your toy, now you can see everything that your toy space shuttle is doing. Y'all need to go with that. Okay, so our transition word this time is going to be a little bit different. So instead of saying then, right, because you're logged in, you've done what you need to do, you key in your password, you put on your headphones, now you can use it, right? Now you can use it. So say what you can do while you're using it. What are you doing? 
you're looking at things and you're hearing things that the toy space shuttle is doing. So I want you to word it. You can use a transition word for now. Now that you are logged in, once you have logged in, all those work. Okay? So tell me what you're doing. Are you just sitting there hanging out with your headphones on? Okay. After I'm seeing all kinds of good transition words. pictures yet. We're not to pictures yet. There's one more thing that I want to talk about that your toy space shuttle has the capability of doing. What is it? I'm coming back to your house. Okay, yes, you can. De we can definitely do both of those things. I was thinking of taking pictures. Um, I was thinking of taking pictures. Um, and so what do we have to do in order to take pictures? Okay, but how? How do you direct it? There you go, McKinley. You punch in a code. You punch in a code. So, what can we say? Okay. So, you've seen and heard everything. Now you can get it to take pictures from space, right? What is a transition word that we can use to kind of get this started? Finally. Next. Finally. All of those would work fine. Um, we, we're not going to bring it home. We're not going to bring it home. Um, we're simply just saying how we get it to work, okay? How we get it to log, we log in, we can see and hear everything. Now we can get it to take pictures from space. Um, I want you to start it and make sure that you say something because before you can get it to take pictures, you also have to do something. So you can't just say, now you can take pictures. Tell me what you have to do in order for it to take pictures. Make sure you start it with some kind of transition word. Next, then, finally. All right, I'm walking around.
All right, seeing some good stuff out there. Help me. Okay, yes, I'm going to say then, I like that transition word, um, and have it take pictures. I'm going to say from space by doing what? Are we done? We do need a conclusion. If you wanted to add a fourth step by saying to leave your window open so you can direct it to come home, that is fine. I think that three is enough. You are clearly understanding the sequence and the order of events to make it work properly. Um, so I consider that us being, com you know, done with it. But if you wanted to add a fourth thing and then a concluding sentence, that's fine. For our time, right now I need everybody working on a concluding sentence. A concluding sentence. Remember, your conclusion always goes back to your what? Topic. Topic. You can't say, I'm going to buy one today. It costs ten thousand dollars. We're not trying to persuade anybody. You're sequencing events. Okay, help me with my conclusion. Okay, these are the steps to make the toy. I'm going to abbreviate for um, room purposes. Space shuttle. I'm going to use the word function because I think it's fancy. Okay, y'all ready to put it together? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go sentence by sentence so that we can see what it looks like all together. I wish, um, and, and maybe next week when we have a little bit more time, what I'll have you guys do is write it on a piece of paper so you can see the transition from yours in the plan, the accordion style graphic organizer to paragraph form because yours is not worded exactly like mine. Um, but next week we'll probably make time to do that. Okay, read mine, help me out. There is there several several ways ways to make the I'm gonna say several steps. To make the toy space shuttle work. Okay? First, put your head on your head on some tea in your basket. Okay? Now you can see in there everything is ready.
Okay. So I want you to know that is not a finished product right now. That's just where I want you focusing and you master that before we move to the next thing. And we're going to start moving to the next thing next week. Okay? So let's read this together um, so you can see the transition. And you saw I changed words from my plan to my rough draft because I, as I was hearing it, I felt like it sounded better. That's the purpose. For pre-writing, planning, rough drafting, editing, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's read it together. There are several steps to make the toy space shuttle work. First, you put on your headphones and key in your password. Now you can see and hear everything your shuttle is doing. Then you can have your shuttle take pictures from space by punching in a code. Pretty good, huh? Do we answer our question by sequencing steps of how to make it function, how to make it work? Yes. I meant to put function there. I forgot. All right. We are going to erase. Um, good job today. I'm proud of y'all. That's really the.